If you don't know, Minecraft temporarily added moving platforms into the April Fool's 2024 update, but removed them right after. Why? I liked those. So today, I'm going to push vanilla Minecraft to its limit to see if it's possible to recreate those physics-based moving platforms without using any mods like usual. The first thing I decided to do was figure out how to move blocks outside of the block grid. You can kind of do this by spawning a block display or falling sand with no gravity like I have in previous videos, but the issue is that those are both entities and not real blocks, so you can't stand on them or anything. So the question is how do you add physical hitboxes to entities? You see, shulkers are the only entity in the game, as far as I'm aware, that have a physical hitbox. And with the new slash ride command, we can have almost any entity in the game ride any other entity in the game like a horse, as far as I'm aware. So you guys know what this means, right? I can finally take my rock out for a drive. But it also means if we make a shulker ride on a block display, as long as we make sure the shulker is invisible and has the AI turned off, we have a completely normal block that we can move anywhere we want in the block grid. And that means that the easiest part of the whole thing is done. And what's next is we need to figure out a way to automate the block's movement and add a physics system so that it pulls you along with it whichever direction it moves. I started by turning our single block into a larger 3x3 platform. I summoned nine of our movable shulker block segments and one invisible armor stand to be the platform base. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret real quick. Usually in these videos, I prefer to use armor stands a lot of the time just because it makes it easier to understand in the video. But armor stands are actually very straining on your computer compared to other entities. So if you see the armor stands randomly disappear throughout the video, it's because I didn't actually end up using them. They're just kind of there for the visual. Anyways, the point of having this platform base entity is so that we can anchor all of the other entities to it and only have to move the one platform anchor to move the entire platform. And the way I anchored them was that I labeled each one of the blocks with a plus X, minus X, plus C, or minus C. And then every time the anchors moved, all of the segments are teleported to it and then offset by whatever tag I gave them. And it works as smooth as something very smooth, like me. Oh yeah. So now that I had the platform itself actually built and ready, the next thing I decided to do was set up the platform paths, like in Mario Maker. Essentially, I want to be able to add two points in the world and have the platform automatically slide back and forth between them. And I want it to work horizontally, vertically, and diagonally as well. I decided to use glowing white wool block displays for the path anchor points since they kind of resemble that Mario Maker look. And of course, being a user experience specialist myself, I couldn't stand not having a clear indicator of the exact path the platforms would move along, so I decided to set up some ray marching to cast a dotted line between the anchor points as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah. But now that we have the platform path expressed visually, it's time to make it actually, you know, functional. Unlike myself. And so the way I did this was that whenever a platform has two or more path anchor points, it will summon a destination armor stand at the second nearest one and slowly move towards it. And then when you make it there, you just do it again. I also added a short timer so that whenever the platforms make it to their destination, they wait a couple seconds for you to get off before continuing back on their path. But now I need to confess something to you guys. And no, it's not that I'm super sexy. I mean, you already knew that. It's that while these platforms look great visually, they don't actually function at all vertically. And what I mean by that is that whenever we move the platform, we teleport it a very small amount every tick, which means if it's going upwards, it actually teleports above your feet and you just fall through the floor. But for now, I can do a really quick, simple fix, which is just whenever the player is inside of the block, it will teleport them above the block. Now, it doesn't look good visually and you can't move during it, but you know, that's not, that's not a big problem. Just don't, just don't worry about it. This sucks, I need to do something better. <laughs> so what's a very simple way to push the player along with platforms without making it super weird and jittery? I got the idea to try and use slimes on top of the blocks to push the player along with the platform. Don't worry, this is footage from when it wasn't working. It's, this isn't my solution. I was intending to make one big block size slime above each of these so that it's actually a full block that can push you, but I typed some things wrong. But then I got it to work and it wasn't actually enough 
So I actually had to double up and make it two slimes tall. So I made them invisible and tried it out and it felt worse than before. So slimes probably are not the solution. I also tried putting an invisible horse on the platform that you could right click to ride, but you know, it still doesn't have the same effect. So I decided it was time to just bite the bullet and do the math and to make it actually just work properly instead of trying to find some weird workaround. That alarm wasn't actually for this. That was because I forgot my macaroni in the microwave. I should go get that. So here was my next idea. The real idea, the serious idea. This is the, the cool idea. Every time the platform moves, it checks the offset of the player compared to the middle of the platform. Then after the platform moves, it teleports the player to the middle of the platform like we did before, but it also adds that offset back so that the player should feel as if they're not moving at all. And look at this! It works! No matter where I stand on the platform, if I jump or whatever, it keeps me like with the offset compared to the middle of the platform. It's like... Perfect. Success. I also added a way to change the texture of the platform and gave an option if you wanted to have like a slippery platform that doesn't actually pull you with it. But in general, this works exactly the way I want it to perfectly, which is a little surprising. I also made this remote book that whenever you're holding it, it shows the path points of whatever platforms are nearby. But what's cool is that you can use this book to actually just make your own platforms on the fly. So you can do things like update the texture of the platform, or if I wanted it to be a slippery one, I could toggle if it was sticky or not. It's just a pretty nice tool. <laughs> Which means all that's left to do is to make an entire mini game based around moving platforms and force a bunch of YouTubers to fight each other and see how horrible they are at it. Mr. Fallen Kingdom, let's go. Oh, Mr. Fallen Kingdom from Fallen Minecraft. <laughs> uh huh. Be warned, I am probably the worst um, Minecraft jumper in existence. So this could be. Oh, you are watch. against Mario. You are against I Mario. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I just jump, and then I can jump again. There you go. Oh, oh that's crazy. Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize Seth Bling is here. No, he just never logged <laughs> Seth, out. Hello. I should warn you guys that on a server, the platforms are very ping dependent, and uh, if the platforms aren't working, just mass jump, and it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. You can pick your team colors over here. Red team. All blue right. Team. I'm going with red. I'm just kidding. You take red. I know you want. I mean, red. you got this like blue. I guess I have a blue overall too, don't I? Uh, I mean, I gotta go with the Venom logo red, but you want red? Doki. I mean, uh, my coat is red, so uh, we both. We that's what I mean. We gotta have to a discussion made. about this. It'll be a countdown, and then best of three. I wish you good luck. Yeah. Ah! Oh, were, were those carpet stairs I was just on? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what the heck? We're on oh, alternating. What? We're on alternating ooh, stuff. Ooh, you ooh. got elevated first. My thing is so slow. Oh, let's go. Is this a checkpoint? Yo. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh, boy. Please don't don't glitch me through here. Oh, <laughs> Seth, you. <laughs> I have a chance to catch up. Oh, no, no. I went back down. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh oh, I missed the cycle, oh, Jordan. Oh, oh no. Yeah, okay, yeah I, oh, I. Oh, close jump. Okay. Oh, checkpoint reach. Oh. Here. oh. Ice. Wait, That's do these okay. ice things push you? Wait, what's the? They oh, sure this do. is this oh. is tricky. What the timing is here? Okay, okay. Oh, he goes for the shot. More professional. Oh, look check at one this! Oh. Look at this! Uh, there we go. Yeah. No, no. Ooh, okay. All right, I figured out the ice bit. Oh, Ooh, oh, I go for goes for the double. Ah. Ooh, good jump skills. Ah. If I could... <laughs> No. Oh, 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 wait, wait. no with the lantern! Oh, you guys are pretty even. No! Oh, big shot! How dare you! How dare you! I, I would bad. never do that to you. I feel bad. Ah, oh, he keeps moving. Ow! <laughs> I hit myself with that. Okay, I gotta, I gotta oh, look to see what I'm actually doing here. <laughs> I want to keep it far. Okay, okay. You do have the lead. Dang it, dude! Ooh, that would have been a great <laughs> shot. No, he <laughs> got advantage. <laughs> Wait, he can't. He can't. Yes, just, no, dude, no. He just got handed, I missed the just cycle. No. The stuff. I saw the arrow just like phase oh, by. God. Same there, dude. Oh god. What? No, no. I can't. See no. It How did I fall off a cliff? No. Ooh, that was a close arrow. <laughs> <laughs> he made it. Hey, nice job. Oh, impulse made it first. That's a big 1-0 for the red team. 1-0 for B. Thank one, you, Seth Bling, for blessing That's me. That's one. 1-0. Oh, stressful, stressful. Sweat. One for the bad guys. All right. Hey, what? All right, now, I know, now that I know, it's 
It's over now that I know. It's over. That was the practice now. round. Yeah, now that I know. Good luck. I got it down now. Now I know everything. I'm gonna set a record. You're getting the do better I start the cycle, advantage? I think. Do I get the yeah, advantage? I think I think you do. Right, hit the button. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I wasn't ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you the edge. still get the advantage. <laughs> it still worked. Oh yeah. What? Uh, I get good start. Oh, I get the bad cycle. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice shot. Oh, I made that. Oh, oh. you made it. Oh, oh, that would have been a devastating shot. <laughs> that would've, that would've. Don't touch and me, Seth! Oh! <laughs> this guy's just shot. out for blood. Oh, okay. Oh, nice effort. Oh, Ooh, I that was close. You. Oh, I just <laughs> the chain. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Attention to you. Go ahead. Yes. Ah! Because if you want a hint, you can just jump off this fence right here. Jump off the fence? Right in front of you, by the eye. Jerk! <laughs> what an absolute jerk! <laughs> this guy sucks! You can jump off the way. Don't! <laughs> You're such a <laughs> jerk! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, this kid's <laughs> forcing his way back up out of Shit. sheer willpower. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Stupid little stalagmites. Oh! oh good hit shot. me again! Who are you? Stop working. <laughs> right, oh, you suck! Oh, that was a perfect Whoops. shot. Oh, did that hit you? You Sorry. suck, dude. Oh, did I just miss the cycle because of that? No, I didn't. There's, there's no cycle with these. Oh, you guys are neck and neck. Oh, oh man, wait, I I'm can't a... do that. Oh no, now I'm too low. Oh no! Uh, 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 oh, I made it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I almost jumped through. over oh, it. <laughs> right at the last minute, and he made it. All right. Yeah. Oh. 360 All no right. scope. What you are you doing? Don't you dare. I'm in the button. <laughs> <laughs> GG. That was a good run, Skiz. Oh you gosh. you had the lead like half the time. Yeah, was a little both bit rounds, there, yeah. I think. Good job, man. He's got that beginning part for sure. It was putting the pressure on me. <laughs> if you just stop shooting me. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. The cycle. The cycle. I think yep, Beef's cheating. cycle for Beef again. Uh-uh. Ah, come on. Oh, how many arrows do you have? Very even. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this great guy. shot. Oh. Nice. Oh, no. Yeah. This, oh. this is going to be a close one, I think. It might come down to the ending cycle. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, with a big skip. Oh. Oh, that was close. Might come Give down to the cycle. Oh, I accidentally used the arrow. No. <laughs> Uh, no! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Great last shot. Beat. Wow. Oh no, I fell down again. <laughs> oh. Oh no, no. Come back. Oh, I'm, I'm Ooh, stuck here. Didn't make I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yes. Oh. oh, I hit you, but you <laughs> yeah. survived. Oh, I heard oh, an no. arrow. That means this no! this run is free. No. no Seth <laughs> Ling wins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> well, I learned today that Seth is uh, is deadly with the bow. Ben. I've shot a few arrows in my day. Dang. All that Angry Birds he's been making. His name's Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's what> <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Nice try. He's Let's too go, strong. Seth wow. Like he's too good. Thanks again for watching my videos. I have a bunch of different things coming up soon, such as a couple video games I'm working on, a bunch of Minecraft related stuff, and I'm going to be doing some community challenges in the Discord soon. So if you're interested in playing Minecraft and winning some money, maybe you should join the Discord and maybe you can win one of my challenges and be in a video. There's only one way to find out.